post ride video, which means I'm sweaty and I have like goggle marks on here, but I got to ride in Santiago Oaks with my friend Mesa, who is heading to Utah, moving to Utah tomorrow. I'm so glad I got a chance to ride with him before he took off. And it was a really cool ride, not just because we got a ride in before he was moving. I got a new bike. And what is it? It is a YT decoy shred 2021. I scored it off of Offer Up from a really great guy named Darren. Darren, if you're watching this, thank you so much for hooking me up. Poor Darren tore his ACL, and so he's going to be off a bike for quite a while, and he believes that somebody else should have that uh, bike and enjoy it. I just happened to find it, right place, right time, needle in a haystack, and I grabbed that needle as hard as I could. I uh, took it out today for a ride. I'll do a full bike check of the YT Decoy Shred in a future video. There's things I want to do to spec it out. I want to get a DAD copperhead stem on it, some DAD bars, some DAD grips. I want to change out some of the tires, go tubeless. But that bike as is, is the plushest bike I have ever been on. Anyways, let's go to Santiago Oaks and uh, you can share the ride with me and Mesa. Let's bounce over there right now, get to Santiago Oaks. We are at Rock and Roll. I don't know if that's the name of this place, but I call it Rock and Roll. You have that crazy spine. Mesa's going for it like nothing. He just, did you that's boost? Gnarly. Did you boost? Yeah. Look it, I get to ride with that hunk today. Richard Mesa. <laughs> <laughs> Day before he, he moves, we both got e-bikes out here at Oaks, which seems to be a great place for it. Let's see how, uh, this is a, a big feature right off the bat, actually. Oh, did I hit the bottom bracket? It wasn't bad. Outside of that little jolt, and I don't, I don't know if that was just the weight of the bike. Was it the, uh, it was this. Yeah, it was this. So I have a guard for that anyways. I haven't set any of the compression for myself, but the guy was my height and, and my weight. So I just, you know, I left it. I haven't had time to mess with it. So I definitely have to get used to the handling of the bike. It wants to, it wants to play. Definitely wants to have more fun than I can, than I'm comfortable with right now. But I, I can see me getting used to this pretty quick. Dropping in a yucca. I don't think I can keep, keep up with Mesa, but I'm gonna have a good time here. Okay, I gotta get used to that, that weight and power. Boy, it's kinda loose. Seems to be doing pretty well. I forgot my bell on here. Thank you. I don't know if that guy was unhappy or indifferent, but whatever. Yeah. Dude, you. Blew my watch off. You shred. <laughs> Just want to sneak in here real quick. You know, today is a flock of two with me and Mesa. And the flock for me is the entire mountain biking community because you know what they say about birds of a feather. So if you want to represent the flock, I have flock shirts. I have two designs, one with blue and one with pink. I think they're both awesome. Uh, check out the link below in the description for my Teespring shop and you can check those out. You can also get the icon shirt right here uh, that I'm wearing and uh, you can even get Enjoy Propaganda. Let's get back to the ride. I'm in 
boost heading up to the flagpole here at Oaks, the drop zone. Here we are. Mesa on that flag, that's like a poster. I gotta tag that flagpole. You see, one of my stickers in the wild, hit me up. Tag me on Instagram, let me know you found it. There we go. Boom. Organic beef medley with vegetables. This is baby food. Look at this, I got baby food. Organic beef Ew. medley. Oh man, it's pureed. It looks delightful. Let's see how it is. <laughs> This is baby proof, not not quite Adam proof yet. Oh God, that looks, that, oh, this might be the highlight of this video. Look at that. All right, let's, let's try it. Hmm. That tastes like ABC food. Definitely already been chewed. What are we feeding our, our babies? No, no good. Let's give it one more try, though. That's awful. I think we're done. Um, do not recommend for adults. Mesa, you want it? No. <laughs> let's do the same. I've been wanting to do this on this bike. So let's, uh, yeah, let's get it. Yeah, that feels like nothing. Little squirrely. Wow, this definitely just wants to open up and play. Like, the decoy feels alive. I'm reining it in. I mean, this thing's capable. My uh, timidity is holding me back from the full uh, scope of what this can do. So, I think part of that is the weight, the speed, and, and those tubes. This is Choose Your Own Adventure, Grasshopper Hawk. We're gonna leave it up to Mesa. I haven't done either, so it's all new to me. No, let's do Hawk, because I haven't done it yet. I'm just going to cross, I'm going to cruise down it though. All right, I'm going to cruise. You cruising is going to be my fast, so let's do it. Hawk, let's do it. All right, this part's steep right here, kind of loose. This part reminds me of uh, Five Oaks. Okay, that part is very steep, very uh, lively. That was fun though. What we got here? They're kind of a, a steep shoot, so. I love tackling new trails. I just love it. All right. Is this the, uh, the choose your own adventure? I heard the right line is harder. Is that what this is? Wow, they're both steep, huh? Dude, that was kind of gnarly right there. Wasn't it? That's kind of puzzling. Oh, 
Okay, so Hawk is a full commit if you're going in blind to this stuff. I mean, you definitely have to be aware of sliding out, pedal strikes, what the flip, shit. Oh. All right, well, that was Hawk. Dude, that's actually a lot of fun. It's super gnarly, right? That's, that is not what I expected. Nice work. That's it. Another fun ride. So great riding with that hunk, Richard Mesa. Gonna miss him while he's in Utah, but wish him the best. For you all, I wish you peace up. Say what you want, say what you will. I miss the ride, ride that I knew. All of this heaven exploding above is a beautiful mess. It's you.